Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. To replace the drain pump and wire harness in your dishwasher, you will need to uninstall the appliance first. To do this, turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to remove the screws securing the lower access panel. Remove the panel, along with any insulation. Use channel lock pliers to help unthread the water supply line fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the junction box cover. Pull the cover off. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Remove the insulating blanket, then tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its back panel. Now unthread the screws securing the drip tray. Remove the tray. Loosen the screw to release the retaining clamps securing the outgoing hose to the drain pump. Pull the hose off. You can use pliers to help break off the clamps securing the incoming hose to the pump. Detach the old pump from the support rod. Remove the cover and disconnect the wire connector. Next, remove the two inner screws securing the control board support panel. Disconnect the door wire connector from the panel. Pull the support panel out and disconnect the main control board wires. Next, disconnect the heating element wires and the circulation pump wire connector. Detach the thermistor and unclip the harness to fully remove. You're now ready to install the new drain pump and wire harness. Snap the wire harness retaining clip onto the frame and clip the thermistor onto the bottom of the tank. 
Connect the wire connector to the circulation pump. And connect the heating element wires to the terminals. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals on the control board. With the wires aligned in the slot, reposition the support panel and replace the screws to secure. Connect the door wire connector. Now connect the drain pump wire connector to the new pump and align the cover. Attach the new pump to the support rod. Make sure the retaining clamp is intact on the outgoing hose and position a new clamp on the incoming hose. Slide the hoses onto the appropriate ports on the new pump. Tighten the clamps. Reposition the drip tray and secure it with the screws. Return the dishwasher to its upright position and realign the insulating blanket. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover and replace the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace any insulation. Reposition the lower access panel and secure it with the screws. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.